And here is the iris. It's just a wheel with the slice, with you know, it's that slice uh, cutout in it. And the way it works, let me see if I can line it up. Is I turn it, you'll see that the slice gets thinner, and then you can see the camera reflecting. So. I'm going to carefully take those screws out if this gets bent at all and add a flat that's no good. So I'm going to carefully take those screws off and then check the uh, wheel hub, make sure the motor feels good. There it is with the hub off, Oops, sorry, that this is a stepper motor, it's like a two pole four wire stepper motor. And there's the index mark, it's just like on a color wheel. There's a photo cell, that little black thing there. And when that lines up, it stops reflecting infrared light and tells the projector that the index mark has been reached in whatever position they decide to have that at. That's where it responds. So it feels okay. It was a little dusty, but not real bad. I'm going to just wipe it down with a Q-tip. And then I'm going to put the iris back on and then put this back inside the optical unit. And here's the color wheel. Took that out. Feels okay. Doesn't feel like there's any mess in there, so it's gonna clean that dust off and then put it back in. I'm not finding anything wrong with this projector.